Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at some of the other factors that can affect our time series data. So we need to think in specifically in terms of what variables could affect it. So what characteristic or categories. So if we think about our surface area of sea ice in the Antarctic, one of the things that we've hypothesized and talked about all the way through is the effect of global warming. Okay, so that's what we've started with. And that's a pretty good um, one to be able to say is may well be having an effect. But what else could be affecting the fact that this trend line is slightly heading downwards? Well, we know that there's some movement from tectonic plates. For example, we know there's been a lot of um, earthquakes and things like that and when we have an earthquake those tectronic plates move they release heat through lava and other forms maybe that's having an effect on warming the oceans maybe there's an effect due to the ozone layer okay and maybe that ozone layer there's a quite a significant ozone layer and over the Antarctic that's therefore letting more UV radiation in maybe it's the carbon dioxide rates Maybe we need to plant more trees to increase the amount of oxygen that's in the air. And so on. There's lots of these different things. So what it is that we want to do is first of all identify a, a possibility and then we want to explain how this could affect our variables. So here's an example. While our research suggests that global warming is a possible explanation for why that sea ice is slowly reducing, we can't say that it is only due to this. We do not have enough evidence to be able to say it's definitely due to this. It's very likely but we can't say for certain because we're dealing with data that we've collected. In fact there's many other possible variables that could also explain the slight reduction. So for example that low, large ozone hole that's over New Zealand, if that is a large enough hole that lets more UV radiation in that increases the temperature on the land and sea below the ozone, therefore reducing the surface area of sea ice. Another one, the shift in the tectonic plates. So we know that when these plates shift and earthquakes happen, that releases a lot of heat, lava, gases, and all of those things could be having a significant warming effect on the land and the sea, leading to an increase, a reduction in the size of the surface area of sea ice. 